dare you? How dare you accuse me of setting up these robots to be secretly evil? They are just kind, sweet, friendly, tortoise riding robots. I mean it sincerely this time. There's no subversion of expectations. This isn't secretly Skynet. We're just here to help. They're just innocent robots with their very hungry sheep friend. After all, you heard the AI. This is Rimworld Android Utopia, designed and featuring robots. Designed by and featuring robots. You know what I meant. Along with everybody accusing me of setting this up to be some sort of secret Skynet, some sort of nefarious robot nation, which absolutely is not the case, there was a lot of questions about what is and is not renewable, what counts as natural resources, etc, etc. Can't believe I have to say this out loud. Yes, stone is a natural resource. However, until I'm comfortable that we've got a base that isn't going to be steamrolled by war caskets, and not to mention actually finding the time to be able to invent non-lethal weapons, sleep gas, that type of thing, so we're not harming humans, we don't have time for things like stone cutting, okay? So I've put together, very coincidentally here, a to-do list of, of stuff that we've got to try and figure out. Stuff that is going to allow us to survive without breaking our programming, but there's a balance to it, right? If a pirate turns up and we have to anesthetize the pirate so that we can convert them, teach them that they have uh, a, a terrible way of living their life, then that is a net positive for humanity. That's allowed. Beating a man to death with a concrete club, Plato, is, is not allowed. That will get the robots dismantled. I think that's a perfect way to describe the whole series. Balance. We've got to get ecological balance with the seeds. We've got to get friendly balance with the robots and the amount of bonking that we do with people. Before we start on non-lethal weapons, there's kind of a glaring problem, right? The sheep can break down. The reactor can break down. The robots can break down. We're going to need fabrication, aren't we? Let's find ourselves a multi-analyzer. Honestly, anything that can speed up research, as I've talked about many times that <laughs> people still ignored in the comments. Robots aren't very creative, especially Plato and Descartes, who are morons. They're idiots. They can't think things up. They have to reverse engineer. If we haven't got things to reverse engineer, it's going to be very, very slow. So anything like a multi-analyzer, anything that increases our research speed is going to be massive for us. And I think it's slow enough right now, given that Asimov is spending all day, every day, pruning his bloody Garanlan tree. I do feel like <laughs> I'm going slightly insane reading some of these comments. People are asking why I don't just make a bunch of Chlora Dryads or train a pack of wolves to rip people apart. No, oh, no, no, you're right. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, no, that's a good way to get around the don't harm humanity. Let's just have wolves do it for us. Oh, it's not my fault that Asimov accidentally trained a bear to rip apart the Stellark. That's totally fine. No! Obviously, that's not allowed. Oh, I think you'll find no harm can come to humans if you kill them all. Yes, yeah, very good. He yeah, is very clever. Let's do that then. Let's just nuke the human. Oh, a transport pod crash. Hello. We're here to save you. Do not resist. Giles! Oh my god, there's another robot. Hello. Tier 2 colonist. Sure, I could get you to... Yeah, he's to join the colony. Why not? Uh, pretty all right at construction, or at least has a passion for it. Oh, Giles is going to need reprogramming. Look at this. Oh, he's an isolationist. Okay, so we actually can't recruit him until we've reprogrammed him then. Okay, fair enough. Not hostile, but, you know, maybe you could do with changing the, <laughs> changing his methods a little bit, seeing the error of his ways. Let's throw down, uh, well, let's just flip this over for prisoners, and then maybe, Giles, uh, you can come with us for reprogramming. I think while Asimov spends the next 40 years trying to figure out how multi-analyzers work, let's get Plato, Descartes, and the mechanoids to uh, spruce this place up, because this is, this is horrible. We need some farms, we need to start replanting all these trees that we've been cutting down. Ooh, Brain, you make a very good point. We have the Atelier mod. That's the mod where if you put, say, a research table in a research room and it becomes a research room, like this one apparently counts as a hospital, it will give a work bonus if you do that work type in that very special room for it. So we should build a dedicated research center. I did say I'd cut part of this up for it, and you know what? Why not? Eventually, all of this is going to be sterile tile anyway, right? So let's do something like that. Because of the inevitable fireball that I can see destroying this entire base, let's start converting over some of these buildings to... Uh, any of the materials that we've recycled. Oh, look at you. Hello. We've got an awakened medicine maker dry and it's just been walking around. How much herbal medicine? 79 herbal medicine. This thing's just been wandering around, spitting it out everywhere. Sadly, though, there's also a waste rat or something like that around that's been making... Oh, no, oh, speaking of waste rat. <laughs> My God, there is so much waste. How do we... How are we going to deal with that in an ecologically friendly way? I mean, the simplest option, right? And you may have noticed that there's some stuff in orbit. I think the best way to deal with all the crap that we're going to... Oh, well, thank you for that. I think the best way to get rid of the waste without making it someone else's problem, without keeping it on the planet, is is don't. Blast it into space. Android space program. We've only just got a multi-analyzer. Let's not... <laughs> let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. Turns out maybe that space program might be happening earlier than I thought, given that the mech recharger is already full of waste. So now we can't recharge the mechs. I was about to say I noticed these toxic waste barrels, but it turns out there's actually an enormous toxic waste container. 
A high pressure gas container that can safely store great amounts of toxic waste and degrade them at a fairly slow rate. It's not safe to store them inside. Ah, if you don't treat them well, it will become a giant toxic bomb. See, I don't think this is really going to help out too much in the long term, but we don't really have a choice if we want to keep the robots running. I don't like this at all. Okay, it can store up to... Is that 200 waste packs? Oh, interesting. I mean, it's good we're containing it. I just can't help but feel this isn't this isn't right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. What did that say? Travelers. A group of poor travelers approaching. They're looking for help. They need medicine. This is our primary program, and of course I'm going to help you. In fact, there's bloody loads of... No. <laughs> no, no, not like this. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I wanted to help. I really did. Doral of Rivia, why have you... What do you mean, travelers betrayed? Do I look like a fucking polar bear to you? No, it wasn't me. Now they're angry at us. Enemy beggar. For God's sake, if there was anybody we were going to help beggars looking for medicine. Ah. Oh, I suppose that does open up an interesting question. Should we be hunting vicious animals so that humans aren't harmed when they come to us for help? Those poor sweet beggars. For God's sake. They heard rumors, whispers on the wind of a, of a mythical hospital island paradise run by robots who were going to help everybody. And they turn up and get murdered by a polar bear with a sword. Is that my fault? Can I be held accountable for such things? Unbelievable. Is there any bamboo? I want some bamboo. Yes, there is bamboo. Oh, is it grown? Not quite. But if we hold on, what I'll do is is maybe every every few seasons, we'll just hit the harvest all plants button and we'll get a load of seeds for the seed vault. Uh, the seed vault that is still very, very flammable. Hold on. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> I was so excited to finally prove that we were going to be the good guys and now they're dead. Now they're dead. Asimov, bring that, bring the laboratory over here. Do we have enough silver to start replacing the floor with something a bit more sterile? Uh, apparently not. Let's do it like that. There we go. Okay, um, I guess we'll just throw down some... I mean, shit, whatever's the cleanest floor we can afford right now, eh? Uh, hex tiles look fancy. Ooh. I mean, look, natural resources, steel is a natural resource. And when you've got a sheep that can eat perfectly renewable crops, we feed the sheep and the sheep gives us steel... That's renewable. That's a totally acceptable thing to build out of, I think. Can't believe you do this to me. I'm so upset. Right, let's throw down the... Uh, let's, let's just try and make this research station as good as we can. There is the ENIAC, which is that enormous uh, 6,000, 5,000 watt consuming research machine. Oh, I suppose, actually, if I reorganize the room, we could fit that in. I don't think we've got the power to run that quite yet. That's going to be a lot of wind turbines to make that thing churn. There we go. Robot space program might be back on the menu. Lethal weapon. Non-lethal. Sorry, non-lethal weapon. Let's not get that confused. We don't need any more dead beggars on our doorstep. Non-lethal weapon. Still top priority. Maybe also, I don't know, environmentally friendly ways to deal with these... Uh, an enormous amount of hilarious yet dangerous polar bears. Why are there so many? Oh, I guess because every animal can spawn in naturally... What the hell was even that? Did you see that? No, don't you peek out from back there. <laughs> Actually, the only thing that's going to survive out here are the biggest, strongest predators, like a bunch of polar bears and a swan. Oh, speaking of which, okay, we could get medicine out of it, though, so that seems pretty good. A trader is calling. A pack of two wild Arctic drags are hunting him. He wants you to draw the animals over to nature's nexus. All right, you know what? For the glut of all medicine, happily. Okay, before we get distracted with more ridiculous stuff, like... Uh, beggars being ripped apart by polar bears and space program. Let's get fabrication and advanced fabrication nicely queued up. Then we haven't got to worry about anything breaking down and our robots dying. I swear to God, if anything happens to my hungry boy. Ah, oh, that'll be the Drax then. Well, that's not the Drax at all. Those are bloody toxins. Uh, when are the Drax turning up? In seven hours. Do you think we could hold off for seven hours and just let them fight one another? Oh, but then, then in indirectly, I suppose we are causing harm to people. Okay, um... I don't really know what to do here, to be honest with you. There's only three of them. What the hell is that? Jorick Lodge. I thought there was a weird Mega Sloth reskin there. I mean, kind of is. Asimov, go forward. We haven't got a bridge over to the base. Not yet, until we can defend it with, again, non-lethal stuff. So if we just stand you there and you can anesthetize them as they head over here, we'll grab them. We'll take them to the hospital. We'll patch them up. We'll make sure they're all healthy, converted, and then we'll send them on their way. Carefully send them on their way. Okay, nice. Uh, the anesthetic does build up so it, it knocks them out, right? So we've got to be careful not to over-anesthetize them. Ah. Simultaneously, I'm not... 
I I'm okay to go a little bit harder than this, but we've got to be careful. Yes, that's technically harming a human, okay? We did uh, Actually, no, look. 30 out of 30. We did 0 0.3 damage. That barely counts. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, that doesn't count. Okay. Please fall over. Oh, be careful. Oh, God. If you shoot them in the lung, that is harming humans. Be careful. Be careful. Okay, get, get some other again. Bear in mind, this is net going to help a load of humans. We're going to help these people reform their ways. Nice. There you go. We're going to help these people reform their ways, and they're going to go out there to help other people. This is okay. A couple of needle pricks is fine. Oh, please fall over. Please fall over. Oh, God. This guy needs so much help. We're going to help you. Don't worry. I'm sorry. Do I have to keep... Do I have to keep shooting them? I have to keep shooting them. I thought this is the one that built up over time, but I guess not. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please don't kill them. It's such a bad look. We get beggars mauled by polar bears, and then we shoot people who are desperately in need of medical assistance. This doesn't seem good. Oh, careful. Oh, careful. I mean, I could get played someone Descartes to bonk them, but then we're also worried about, oh, God, potentially killing them. This is the hardest raid. <laughs> this is the hardest raid I've had in my entire... No, 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 no. It's the wrong button. Holy shit, be more careful. Nice! Okay, okay. Be careful. Go for the other one. Oh, wait, shit. The third one's caught up. Oh, the third one's caught up. Hold on. Oh, shit. I'm hoping maybe if we shoot the third one, they'll fall over. Or maybe, maybe if we hit the, the second one, the third one will retreat. This is horrible. This is horrible. Don't fight back. You run that way, Plato. Let's send you south. Asimov, just keep running. Just... Oh! Descartes, don't punch back, for God's sake. Uh, okay, they're set to flee. They're set to flee. That's fine. Just don't fight back. That's all I ask. You bait them away. Oh, I hate this. Uh, why don't we send Plato to go do something useful then? You go grab... Are you back up? Melee attacking Drash Gordon! Oh, God, I totally forgot that person hadn't fallen down yet. Uh, you know what? You know what? Don't worry about Descartes. We can patch Descartes back up. Nice! Okay. Oh! I was hoping that would be enough to get them to flee. Oh, God. What a mess. That's a dead end. Descartes, 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 Descartes. Asimov, come around. Oh, this is a nightmare. Well, look, when everybody's got anesthetic guns, I think this is going to be a lot more reliable. Um, Don't kill Descartes, please. Oh! Shattered his framework. What is his framework? Is that his spine? I guess not, given that you're still moving. Careful with that anesthetic. Nice! Okay. That could have been a lot worse. Um, I throw down. I started building a dedicated prison, throwing down some more beds there, but we'll just have to put them on the floor for the time being. I promise it's a, te it's a temporary thing, okay? We're the good guys. I'm going to make sure they are comfortable and they have a life of luxury and all the food they could eat. We haven't got any food. Uh, shit. What about these apples? Oh, no. Those are, those are peaches. <laughs> the gamer, I don't know what bloody fruit is. There we go. This is fine. And then we'll show them, look, you're living a bad life here. You, you need to be more harmonized with nature. You need to turn away from your pollution and violence orientated ways. We're going to say convert, then release for all three of them. And hopefully they will take that ideology back to their people and they'll say, I've been to a robot paradise and I have seen there's a different way, a better way. No. <laughs> oh shit, it's the other ones. Oh, for God's sake. The big old furry dinosaur fella. Well, it should be a little bit easier. Descartes desperately needs tending to. Not that they're going to die or anything like that. It's just heavy bruising, but we do need to... Okay, careful, careful. We do need to get you back up on your feet soon so you can help out. I'm a little bit worried about a prison break or something like that. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. And it says... Oh, so it will say... Right, gotcha. So it will say danger, and that's when we would have to stop firing. So it actually is kind of safe to go a little... A little butt wild with it. And again, I know it's I know it's technically harm, but it's harm that's like reasonable. It's a net massive harm reduction. Come on, come on, Asimov. Stand your ground. Nice, there we go. We are gonna have to finish these off though, because they've got Scarrier. It's a sad occasion, but someone's gotta do it. This is a good time to learn how the robots work though, right? So you are missing an eye and your framework, whatever that is, is shattered. Does it provide like an armor bonus or something like that? I'm not sure. How do we fix it? Uh, mechanical part packs. Oh, that's pretty easy then. I presume that will be machining? Maybe fabrication. And a mechanical part pack covers everything. Maybe a bit, a bit more complicated for the higher tier robots, for the tier 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, but these are just our basic little guys. We could go as far to give you a mining arm now too. We couldn't hurt. Oh, Cecil! Cecil, is there no justice in this world? Um, t uh, uh, no, no, no. Forget, forget Descartes. No, no, no. Tend to Cecil. We put ecology first. There you are, my guy. Luckily, fabrication shouldn't take that long, right? We've got the raw resources that make 
advanced components, and of course, we've got advanced components and regular components too. So in theory, you should just be able to reverse engineer that and shut up! What's going on out here? Oh, ooh! What happened? I thought that was, I thought that was Cecil. Hey, you leave Big Wiggly alone. How are you still alive? How did that happen? Were there, were there three? Maybe I just missed one. <laughs> oh, Asimov, what happened? Is that because you harmed somebody? Oh, yeah, I know, but it was a, and that was the final one. Okay, there you go. 22 glass, one medicine. I know, I know. Okay, we're, 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 there are punishments in place for harming people, but it barely counts. You did like 0 0.3 damage. That's nothing. 0 0.3 is nothing. Stubbing your toe is like five damage easily. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what a turnaround on those marble blocks, eh? Well, that's certainly a step up. I, I mean, we could go as far. This might be a crazy idea. How about we replace this enormous wooden wall with... Marble blocks instead. I think the problem is that we're going to have to dig the whole thing up to change the foundation, aren't we? Oh my god, you're going to need sandstone. Oh my god, it's 17 blocks per section of wall. Um, we do have a lot of sandstone. We could use that just for bridging purposes. Oh! Trash Gordon, what happened? Trash Gordon, Trash Gordon just flipped when the solar flare hit. Is everybody okay? Asimov's... Uh, it doesn't, like, stun the robots or anything, no? Oh, stop, 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 stop. What are you doing? Oh, they're breaking down because there isn't any pollution here. Oh, you morons. They can't, they can't handle nature and greenery and, and this lovely environment. It's breaking their brains. Asimov, I need you to break this up, you moron. Oh, can, can we calm it? Was, if we turn you into a warden... Oh, they can't do wardening right because they're incapable of social because they're, they're, they're a printer. They're a printer with legs. Oh, this is amazing. Look at all of this. We've got an ambrosia palm. We add another spaceship chunk too, but all of the... All of the plants. We're going to be able to build a, a Garden of Eden over here. What the hell was that? What was that? Oh, was it a, a waste pack blowing up? Maybe? This is horrible. <laughs> this is just horrible. It's a battlefield out here. Oh, Cecil! Cecil, you're making me look bad. We've got dead beggars. We've got people in the prison breaking out into riots because there's not enough pollution. And now you've gone and died on me, you little fox moron. But now Asimov snapped out of his days. Well, that's good. No, it's fine. Don't worry. We've just fought off a prison riot and the fox is dead. Good work. We're terrible. We're terrible conservator robots. Oh, this is going so badly. <laughs> what? Oh, God. Okay, there's a change of plan. Maybe forget about the space program and every other thing I've mentioned. Maybe we have to get that sleeping gas. Because even even doing damage, the, the minor, almost insignificant, non-existent damage from an anesthetic rifle is still... It's still broken his poor sweet robot heart. Oh, Asimov, I'm so sorry. Fine, okay, you know what? This is on me. We should have gone for that sleeping gas. Weapon yeah, weaponized gas, yeah, but I mean, not, not, like, in, not like in that way. Let's forget about advanced fabrication then for a little while. We've got to be very careful not to use up the other advanced components then until we've got it. Drug production, medicine production, weaponized gas. We've got the good set medicine so we can reverse engineer that. This might not be too terrible. We've got herbal medicine so we can reverse engineer that too. Oh, the lion maker dryad. Hello. Okay, well, we, we had herbal medicine. Why is it? <laughs> I've lost control already. We've been playing five minutes and it's already gone horribly wrong. I suppose we could put like our foods, plant matter, everything in there and then throw some freezes on the seed vault because I don't think the seeds will get damaged by the cold at all. We're out of steel? How are we out of steel? Oh, I built maybe way too many skips there. Uh, why did I not build them out of blocks? I can build them out of blocks, right? Oh, you can't. Okay. Well, look, let's take that apart. We don't need that many steel skips. Luckily, there's an absolute boatload over here. I think we've got a regular map's worth of resources, but concentrated into the uh, very, very few mountain ranges there are. Yeah, it's only the stuff on the island. That's pretty convenient. Hold on. Whose cow is this? Tame this cow. Asimov, get out here. No food. Right, no. People eat food. You moron. I've, I've adopted too much to the robot lifestyle. I am robot now. Um, okay, okay. Here we go, then. Let's go harvest all plants. This is high emergency because people... Strangely, do need food. There it is. Our first conversion. Wait, did you immediately... Oh, you're immediately sending them off. This is amazing. Thank you, Asimov, for getting it together for five minutes so that we could try and make some progress here. So in theory, when they leave the map... Look, we've converted one out of 25 of the disgruntled toxes. Oh, okay, sure. Things to recycle. A lovely hat. Wait, maybe the robots can... <laughs> 
<laughs> there you can. The robots can have a hat. So much more friendly and approachable. Please put the club away, Plato. Wonder if we cut that down whether or not we'll get like a, an ambrosia palm seed. I doubt it because they probably, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, my went a little overboard on that one. Let's throw down some shelves. Yes, good. Haskell. Haskell. Wait, hang on. They're toxins, though. They've got a psychite dependency. Um. <laughs> I think there's a slight problem. The only way these people can live is if they take the equivalent of remote crack. So if we... I suppose if we, do, we could just give them wake up. They're impervious to wake up. They can't overdose on it. So that would be the safest thing to give them. It might get to the point where we might have to bioengineer them to, to remove their psychite dependency. That's a kind thing to do. I think that's allowed. That's okay. Just worry that I'm going to have to grow fields and fields of flake to send over to them. And that doesn't seem very morally and ethically responsible. Two out of 25 on the disgruntled toxins. I almost want to try and focus on them first. I mean, the war caskets are a whole separate problem, right? Because with the war caskets, we've got to take them out of the caskets, give them the therapy to, to fix the, the mental problems that come from that, give them their limbs back too, which are all going to be ripped off. With these fellas, it's so easy to convince them that they're being little shitheads that are going to destroy humanity. In fact, we do have our pollution mechanics. Their bases will produce pollution. Thanks to Yeo's pollution too. God, if I say that word again, I'm going to go mad. Hey, caravan animals that have stuff to reverse engineer could be pretty amazing. A group of tort units. Turtle friends. Oh, well, this is fate, isn't it? That we've been sent to more of these. And they've got seeds. Oh, shit. I mean, not that we really need many seeds anymore. Um, yeah, no, sure. I'll absolutely tame you. Every robot colonist gets a robot tortoise. This is so good. How? Surely you're close to being gone now, right? Uh... 54%. Oh. Nutrition Unit 1. Hello. Oh, I've got to give them actual names. It feels so bad just having Nutrition Unit 1. Tort Unit 2. Hello there. Oh, can I assign them to certain people as well, like old giddy up? Uh, can be automatically managed by slaves, can automatically be managed by colonists. Tort Unit 3 and Animals Level 7. Very nice. And after a mountain of research, we finally got fabrication. Uh... Look, we have to stay. We, we've got to stick with medicine. I keep thinking maybe we should go for advanced fabrication just to stay safe, but I've got to get the sleeping gas, haven't I? We could even have that in, say, the prison. If there's a prison riot, we can flood it through, knock them all out. Everybody's safe. Everybody's happy. We have cotton seeds. We've got one cotton seed. Okay. Uh, well, let's go ahead and harvest the others. I want to be able to throw that down for, brace yourself, doormats. Because the big problem about having enormous tortoises and cows and, and robotic sheep are that they're very stinky and they keep dragging in a lot of crap into the hospital area. Problem is we need an android charging station in the hospital if we've got androids in the hospital. So it's making this place absolutely filthy. It took them like 30 seconds with all the medicine to reverse engineer. So you've got medicine production, then weaponized gas. I presume the medicine can just be reverse engineered. Okay, again, that's totally fine. What a smart robot you are. <laughs> like that creepy cow over there just Peering over the wall, looking at Asimov working. Go and do something. Why are you people just standing around in here? I'm sorry, a raid from who? Um, hello. Hello, how are you all doing? Nice to see you. I'm not sure that an anesthetic rifle can get through whatever armor they're wearing. Uh, oh my god, and they've got shields? I hate you. I hate you so much. Okay, well, be careful. Be careful. <laughs> We're doomed. Steal what they can leave. Yeah, let, let them go. Let them go. Let them go. We don't even have to get into my gold. How much gold is that? 218? I mean, I've got to just let them go. I don't have a choice. Oh, for God's sake. Well, let's see if we can anesthetize them on the way out, but we'll never get through their shield belt. You fucking thief. Ooh. Runs away from combat. Oh, you dropped the gold? Wait, you dropped the, they, they dropped the gold. We startled them. Oh, don't get killed, Asimov, for God's sake. Oh, no gold is worth that. No gold is worth that. Are they still going to flee, though? The other person doesn't have a shield belt. Oh, but they're a hussar. Oh, well, that's good. We'll just get horribly murdered instead. I think she's genuinely leaving the map. I think we spooked her. <laughs> I'm doing fine, thanks. Yeah, I bet you are. I'm doing fine as they robbed 200 gold from a bunch of peaceful androids, you shits. Okay, um, we're getting to some cover here. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, okay. Oh, great start. Please don't kill Asimov. That would really be a horrible way to ugh, kick things off. Bear in mind, Asimov's armor is very, very, very good. Simultaneously, I don't think it covers every aspect. It could just shoot him in the face. What are you doing? What the hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> this is a total nightmare. This is a, a total nightmare. Come on. 
Come on, all you've got to do is get one hit in. No! Careful, 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 careful. Okay, I have faith. I have faith. Please. I'm losing faith. Oh my god. Yes! Wait, that was it, that was a hit, that was a hit. Oh, it was just a bruise though, because they're so heavily armored. Come on. Oh, Asimov. What am I supposed to do? I've just got to sit here and watch. This is horrible. This is awful. We can't harm humans. We've just got to peacefully hope they stop firing at us. <laughs> they might get bored and walk away. Trash Gordon! You can shoot Asimov all you like, but you don't shoot Trash Gordon. Oh, well, this is bullshit. Just steal my gold. Take my gold and piss off. No. What do you mean, Sanguifage Hulk? As in like a, 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 an, a, like a ship. Like a ship with a Sanguifage in it. Okay, um, I've just got to sit and watch as you shoot all my poor creatures. Both of these. Both of these, I'm sorry. God. <laughs> oh, God, just take the money. <gasps> both of these have been relieved of life. Oh. Oh, both of these, I'm so sorry. He's trying to save Trash Gordon, he died a hero. And the worst part is I can't even go for bloody revenge against them. I've just got to sit and watch. Yes. 40, oh, you just stole 45 components. You just stole 45, oh, is there more? Is there more? Are we doomed? Okay, there is more. Oh, shit. I suppose we should be grateful that all we lost was both of these and 45 components. Oh, you shit. If this was any other series, I'd be glassing you. The ICBMs at dawn. No, I gotta just go watch you walk away because we're pacifist robots. Is it? Take don't take all my take the clothes off my back. Hope you drown. No, I hope you boil and die out there in the ocean. Ross Maffo, I'll remember your name. I'm gonna convert you to pacifism. Damn it! I'm gonna make you live a life of regret. Bullets only hurt once, but if you make them see the error of their ways, that'll hurt every single time they try and sleep at night. Let's get Trash Gordon patched up. The uh, plate, so go patch up Big Wiggly too. Oh, it has to be the mechanic that does it. That's right. I've played this game before. I'm. I'm so sad about both of these. Can we even... We, we can build a new one, but we'd have to build a... um, What is it called? Like a mech... Mech, mech station. We'd have to build a mech state... A mech gestator. That's right. Can't complain, okay? Maybe maybe that's a great strategy. We just leave the gold out by the front door. We just chuck it out in the ocean outside the base and we say, i uh, take it. Take it and piss off. I'm going to pay you to walk away. Oh, yeah. No, look at this. 0% 10 quality. Great. I think we'll go for... Uh, Android Medicine. Now, I couldn't figure out whether that was these or... So look at these things here. Advanced Repair Stim. It's got to be that, but there's also 6,000 points of research. What is that? Military Biomimetics. A swarm Shell. Drone Watchdog. Do you think it's, uh... Do you think it counts as indirect harm? Training a pack of... Building and training a pack of wolves to rip apart a certain Imperial subject who stole all my components. No? Humans first. Human medicine, human defenses, then we'll worry about androids afterwards. We've got 800 points of weaponized gas. We have nothing to reverse engineer for that. Oh, no. I take that back. They've got medicine. I mean, that makes that makes sense. You know what? That's right. Is this, is, is this because you harmed a person? It says recreation star, but we all know the truth, don't we? Harm somebody times five minus 67 again. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Maybe in hindsight, we should have started with sleepy, sleepy gas rather than rather than nothing, rather than deep drilling. Uh, could have been a good idea. I mean, who needs that? Who needs sleepy, sleepy gas when you've got three enormous turtle friends? And as precious Asimov walks around the field, sad and distressed about shooting a pirate who robbed all our bloody gold with a single anesthetic dart. I think it's time we say farewell to today. <laughs> for today. Maybe to today as well. I'm not sure. Is this a complete write-off? I think it's been it's been a good time. I, I'm, I'm enjoying the series quite a lot. I think it's a fun idea. It's nice to uh, not just I'm I'm so bored in RimWorld of, of the, the cookie cutter colony that gets the guns, then you get power armor, you build a lot of turrets, you hide behind a wall. I'm bored of it. I like the idea of, of leaving the gold outside the front door so they piss off. It's just like so weird and such a such a good way to play trying to avoid any violence whatsoever. It's the logical conclusion, right? Because we've done ranged only, we've done melee only, we've done or tried to do like I say dryads only in the past. Now no fighting at all. Makes perfect sense. Thank you to the patrons for allowing this nonsensical perfect sense series to exist in the first place. A thank you to Mythomatic, Scapegoat, Leopold Multi, Peter Sorossi, Kemp McCullough, Selfish Ghost, Saleroth, Fake, Tempest, Wazzy, Vexters, Sume, Gobot, 
this be Willis, MTB, Rock Death, Raven, The Cat Lover, 366, Voodoo Mumbo, Crimson, Chungus, Noodle Pokin, Vladislav Lazarov, Hummus, Biblically Accurate, Toothpick, Taff, Silver, Nikki Sticks, and Super Awesome Goku for their support. The executive producer is over on Patreon. Thank you. Wow. Much appreciated. Join me tomorrow uh, for more, hopefully, Robot Fun adventures. But thank you. Of course, in addition to Lem, Perfectly Innocent Wizard, Rosie, Lawrence and the Machine, Megador, Brennick Root, Murray, Laura Stars, Clinic, Q Tip 113, Waylon Smith, Mr. Hildebrand, Met Bar, Horror Story, Coagulations, Megaton, OM, Bjornulf, Vladislav Shatulski, Kai, Piggy Gamer, Shane Pyle, That Butt Guy, Shadowblade, Corvid A, and Philip Oliver Holes.